Hello everyone. I am Dr. Rutraj Dubey, DNM College, Badiya. Today we will discuss common eye effect. To discuss common eye effect, we will take one example and then we'll proceed. Calculate the pH of a solution that is 1.0 molar acetic acid. Uh, the dehydration constant for acid is 1.8 into 10 to the raised power minus 5 and <coughs> 1.0 m sodium acetate now the solution of acetic acid in water will give in equilibrium h3 plus o and ch3 c double o minus now when sodium acetate is added this sodium acetate is added to the solution it will increase the concentration of acetate ion and according to the last shetlier principle due to increase in the concentration of right hand side product the equilibrium shift towards left it means there is decrease in the concentration of h3o plus ion means decrease in concentration of h plus ion and this increase in the ph value now Let's calculate the pH of this buffer solution. You see, we will have to write the equation another time. CH3C double O H plus H two O gives H three O plus plus three H three C double O minus. Initially, it is one molar. This one is one molar. You see, here this one is one molar. But we know. With the addition of sodium acetate ion, it will give acetate ion. So initially, it will give the concentration of acetate ion as one molar. Now, what is the concentration lost? Suppose it is minus x because of complete ionization and the conver uh, conversion of uh, to H3O plus is plus x. And here plus x. Now at equilibrium, we will add this one minus x, x one plus x. Now, what is the equilibrium constant? Ka is the concentration of the product H3O plus acetate and minus divided by concentration of reactant. You see here x multiplied by one plus x divided by one minus x. Since x is very very less than one, hence one plus x will be treated as one, and one minus x will be treated as one. Hence, after putting this value as one and this value as one, k is equal to x, and which is given as one point eight into ten raised to power five. So, pH will be minus log this value, and it will give. The pH value is 4.75, but we know that the pH of one molar acetic acid solution is 2.38. Means if we don't take the uh, sodium acetate solution, then this reaction will give the pH value of 2.38. It means if we compare these two values, we see that pH in two sources is higher than the single source. This is called common ion effect. Now take an another uh, another example of basic solution. Calculate the pH of a solution that is 0.15 molar ammonia, where dissociation constant Kb is equal to given this, and 0.0035 molar of sodium ammonium nitrate. Now what will happen when ammonia dissolved in Water. It will give NH4 plus and OH minus. And initially, NH3 is 0.15 molar, and ammonium nitrate gives ammonium ion. That's why initially the concentration of ammonium ion will be the concentration of ammonium nitrate, 0.35. And initially, OH concentration is zero. Now, what is the concentration dissociates 
is minus x and it will come give ammonium ion x and OH ion x so at equilibrium we will add this so it will give 0 0.15 minus x here 0 0.35 plus x and x now what is the dissociation constant kb is equal to concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reactant so after keeping this value putting this value uh, 0.35 plus x multiplied by oh concentration of oh x divided by concentration of ammonia 0 0.15 minus x again x is very very small so if we uh, take this uh, 0.35 plus x will be treated as 0.35 because of very very less value of x and again 0.15 minus x will be treated as 0.15 because of very small value of x now putting these values here we, we will find out the x value of x is 7.7 .7 into 10 to the power minus 6 m but we know x is the concentration of oh ion so it can be treated here like this if we take negative log of both the sides it will give poh and negative log of this will give 5.11 again ph is equal to 14 minus poh and it will give 8.89 so we in this way we can understand uh, the impact of common ion effect means here common ion is NH4 NO3 NH4 sodium nitrate sorry ammonium nitrate gives ammonium ion and in this example sodium acetate gives acetate ion so that's all for now we will meet in another lecture on another day thank you very much